mirroring complex parts. Okay, now this is a little bit different story. Uh, things will happen, and you, I would review this video a couple times because you're going to be using the technology all the time. So here I have a complex part, and in the fact that at the top I have a hole, at the bottom I have this peg. And what I want to do is mirror the hole over to the other side and show you how to mirror the peg over to the other side also. Let's start with the peg. Let's say I wanted a piece that had a peg at one end and a peg at the other end. Well, it's very simple. Notice that there is a positive, positive Z. And in edit mode, what I'm going to do is scale this. So it looks like this. When I go back to object mode, notice object mode has a positive Z for the peg. That means if I apply a modifier, mirror, and choose Z, there's a peg at both ends. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Let's do the opposite. Let's, uh, in edit mode, scale it this way. Go back to object mode, and now apply a modifier called mirror. And mirror in Z. There's two pegs. What's the deal? Well, you got to understand one more thing. It's called pivot point. Okay, so I'm going to go one on the keyboard, and the pivot point right now for this item is right here in the center. That's where it's going to mirror. If I go into edit mode and take this item and move it up, see that little dot right there? That's my pivot point. Okay, go back to object mode, and now apply a modifier called mirror. Mirrored in Z, and you can see, in fact, I have the hole at both ends. Okay. Another thing that you should know is the fact that if I go back to edit mode, I can now move this around and you can see this happen. Okay. If I take the merge limit, if I have a gap here and take the merge limit, click on it and drag, I see this snap occur. Once that snap occurs, I know that the two parts are joined. If I move it back, they're still joined. Okay. And now if I apply that change, I should see a little bit of a bulk in the mesh. And this is a problem that occurs. It's called an interior face. There's no real way to turn this feature off I've def that I have found. And what happens is, let's go one on the keyboard. You can see in wireframe mode, whoops, that this is the interior faces. I don't want those interior faces. They're bad. If I click one on the number pad, it launches the front view. And here's an easy way to get rid of them. In wireframe mode, go to edit, go to face, go to B on the keyboard for box select, and I'm going to select all the faces there. X and delete rid of faces. If everything is correct, I should now be able to go like this, control R, and I should be able to put an edge loop going all the way across the item. If that works, that's a good indication that you've done everything correctly. There are limits to this, of course. Um, let me illustrate this. Okay, in edit mode, I'm going to highlight all my parts, and I'm going to move it so the pivot point is right here this time. Okay, then I'm going to make another modifier. Mirror. In this case, I'm going to move it out and get it to about right here and merge it. And this is kind of tricky. Notice that it has to have some kind of number in here. And to get that number in there, sometimes I have to type it. There we go. And you can see it, it's starting to snap. In fact, you can look at it real up close. It'll snap once and snap again. So 
got to kind of look at that to see that it is snapping twice. And when it is, you can now hit apply. This should merge the two together. And now, of course, you're going to have to get rid of the interior faces. Again, to do this, hit edit mode, tab. Make sure faces is highlighted. And you can do a box select. Be on the keyboard. X faces. Again, to test this out, and be careful because there's one right here too. Anytime I see that face that's on an edge, I know that something went wrong. Okay, let's test this out. Control R, and yes, I can put an edge loop going across the mesh, therefore it is done correctly. So that is mirroring complex items over and over again, and some of the warning signs and how to change the pivot point. So you can choose between a positive and a negative, a negative or a positive. Enjoy? Please move on to the next video.